Hey everyone, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Mercury retrograde is once again on its way. Now you may be thinking, isn't it not supposed to start until like May 10th? And you'd be right. However, we do have shadow periods on either side of the Mercury retrograde period. And I want to show you today how we discover what those shadow periods are. Because our um, Mercury retrograde period lasts about three weeks, Weeks, we have a period on either side of it where it's about three weeks long. Mercury is moving. You can think of Mercury having to do like a zigzag pattern. It's got to move direct first, and then it backtracks through that same space. So that space that it went through originally is the first shadow period. And then once it moves direct again after it's retrograded, that period is once again a second shadow phase. So I want to show you what this looks like, because what you pull up are these ephemeris tables. If you've never seen these before, this is the exact calculations of all the planets every single day of a calendar year, okay? And so we go straight to May 10th, where we look at Mercury here and we see Mercury retrogrades at four degrees Gemini on May 10th. And so we want to track it all the way through the end of its retrograde, which when it goes direct, you see this little D here in June on June 3rd with Mercury going direct in Taurus. It backtracks all the way back into Taurus for just a couple of days. Um, at the end of its retrograde period. And so by June 3rd, it will go direct once again, and we will feel a, a lightness. However, we have those shadow periods that we have to take into consideration. And I want to show you how we figure those out. So what we do is we, we note those points, the four degrees retrograde in Gemini, and then the 26 degrees direct in Taurus. And we find those points where Mercury was at 26 degrees Taurus prior to the retrograde. And we find out when it's going to clear through that retrograde shadow by going back to uh, the four degrees Gemini. So prior to May 10th, Mercury here is just trucking right along, goes into Taurus, and we see right here it hits that 26 degrees Taurus, where it's going to end its retrograde period on April 27th. That is how soon we will actually potentially be feeling the Mercury retrograde slow down. So be wise that Mercury retrograde lasts a lot longer than just those three weeks it can start as soon as April 27th that you may be feeling it, especially if you're sensitive to Mercury, if you have Virgo placements, if you have uh, Gemini placements, and this is going into Taurus and Gemini, both of those are going to be affected this time around. So be aware of the larger influence at play. Then Mercury goes officially retrograde on the 10th of May and stays that way through June 3rd. And then it's going to go forward again. So it's going to backtrack through all these degrees of Taurus back into Gemini. And we're going to hit that four degrees of Gemini on June 19th. So despite the fact that Mercury is only retrograde between May 10th and June 3rd, we could feel it for as long as April 27th through June 19th. And this is how you calculate it with an ephemeris. So if you ever want to look into the future and see how long these Mercury retrograde periods might last, what degrees they're traveling through, what signs they're going to affect, this is how you do it. Thanks everybody for joining me. I'm Dana Schmidt-Johnson with the Ritual Society. Bye.